Hello friends, welcome to lecture 5. In this lecture, I will teach you about Euler's pi functions. So I have written the four basic rules on how to find Euler's pi function. So first rule, phi of 1 is equal to 0. Second rule, phi of p is equal to p minus 1 if p is prime number. Third, phi of m cross n is phi of m into phi of n. Here, m and n are relatively prime. Fourth, phi of p raised to e is equal to p raised to e minus p raised to e minus 1. Here, p is prime number. So now let's take example of pi to 40. So you have to just divide in the factors form. So it will be 16 into 15. You have to divide in such a way that it should be in prime number. So it will be again will be like 2 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1. Now just match which rule will be applied in this form. So you can see here rule 4 will be applied here. So just solve one by one. So it will be 2 raised to 4 minus 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 1 minus 3 raised to 0 into 5 raised to 1 minus 5 raised to 0. So it will be equal to 8 into 2 into 4 so will be equal to 64 so therefore 5 to 40 is equal to 64 so now let's solve one more example 529 so as it, you can see that it is a prime number as I taught you in the earlier that how to find the given number is prime. So this is a prime number. So it will be just you have to apply rule number 2 here. So it will be uh, P minus 1. So as 29 is a prime number. So it will be 29 minus 1 is equal to 28. So phi of 29 is equal to 28 now let's move on to another example 5 6 6 7 so as I said that you have to divide the number into different factors so it will be 23 into 29 so as you can see the rule number 3 that both the numbers are relatively prime to each other so you have to solve by rule number 3 now uh, as you can see that 23 is a prime number so apply this rule number 2 so it will be 23 minus 1 into 29 minus 1 so it will be 22 into 28 22 into 28 will be equal to 6 1 6 so therefore 5 of 6 6 7 is equal to 616 now you can see that example 1 follows rule number 4 example 2 follows rule number 3 as well as 2 example 3 follows rule number 2 and 5 of 1 is always 0 so I hope your all the concepts about Euler 5 function is clear so I have given the these three questions to solve by yourself and if you have any doubt you can ask me or just comment in the comment section. Thank you.